the nature of the, the Quranic text. So Quran is a, the Quranic text is this segment of divine consciousness. It's like a stream of consciousness that is caught up in the, the temporal world, caught up in the world of man. And that's always how Muslims understood it. There is no Muslim sect, no Muslim school of thought, not Sunni, not Shia, not even Ismaili that reads the Quran alone. All Muslim sects, no matter how far out you go on the spectrum, they always read the Quran through, does anybody know what they read it through? They read it through a lens. Does anyone know what that lens is? The Sunnah of the Prophet. They read it through the Sunnah of the Prophet. And now, sometimes you'll hear about, you know, Quran-only movements or Quran-only groups. The, my, my biggest objection to Quran-only groups is that you cannot read the Quran alone. It's impossible. There are words in the Quran, phrases in the Quran, that don't exist anywhere else. They, don't, they only appear once in the Quran, like the, the discussion of vihar, those alladhina yudahiruna azwajuhum. There's no other way to understand what this means, except from the traditions of the Prophet and his companions that explain this is a man who says to his wife, you're like the back of my mother to me. There's no other way to understand this. You, you have to rely on the sunnah of the Prophet. And it is the sunnah of the Prophet and the way of the early Muslim community, and the tradition of the scholars who built on their understanding of the Qur'an, it is that lens through which we read the Qur'an, and it is that lens that takes us away from the evident meaning to the intended meaning of the text.